Then we go into go into exhibitions, run a good decent exhibitions, go into the jackpot, run a decent a good jackpot. My daughter Morgan. Place is good. This other particular rider. That's uh, good. It doesn't take the top time. Saturday morning she's gone. Where's she at? She left. She thought she was gonna come get the money Friday night. She didn't get it. She got beat by a 13 year old. <laughs> she thought she was gone. Here she left. Went to a rodeo. Two hours away. Come in for the jackpot Friday night. Like I said, it starts this wide. It's going to get down to here to see why. Goes to the rodeo. Two hours away. Takes the money from that rodeo. Lynn and I get a Facebook Messenger page. Hey, what number are they on? <laughs> Save me parking. <laughs> Is there parking there for me? I should have said that one again. It starts this wide. It goes low. Yeah, there's parking. There's 150 or 160 in the run. Well, I can be back by 3.30. Okay. Didn't think any different. Daughter Morgan's running 45. Puts a good time up on the board. It sticks for the next 120-something riders. Remember this person I parked the night before. She left, went to a jackpot, won the, or won the rodeo, come back. Be nice to this person. Remember, you can be nice to people and not nice. Be nice to this person, right? Comes in. We're standing there for 120 something riders watching the clock. Watching the clock. All these riders are coming through. They're clocking good times, good times. Or he's got a really good time. This rider comes up. Watched her run Friday night. Watched her time. Told me to my face. I'll never be that time. No way. This is where I'll be. Pulls in the ring. Again, story from here to here. Why it affects this particular rider when she comes down to the split series second. Series. She comes walking the gate. Morgan looks at me and said, I think I got a problem with that. <laughs> Don't worry about it. She, you know, she, Morgan, you did a something last night she did a 15 something yeah she even told you she doesn't even she would never beat that time okay we're sitting there remember 120 something horses later i'm watching this clock you know. gets in there takes the time we're happy for it. the point of the story is this particular rider comes to sidmore and comes in every show. She's an ambassador to the barrel racers. She's a mentor. People look up to her. I didn't know this person three or four months ago. I got to know her. Parker beer every time. Comes to sit more. She doesn't listen to me half the time. <laughs> <laughs> Run along the fence. Pull up. Back up. So the point of the story is this particular rider and why we picked her, it's just not the Sidmore split series. It's how she represents the barrel racers everywhere. So I got to know her. Uh, she put two arena records up at Sidmore, and I think she'll put another one up after seeing the run on Saturday. Uh, it's Wink Early. <laughs> <laughs> so with Wink, Wink come in just to finish my story. Wink come in game face on. Remember, tired Friday night, jackpot Saturday rodeo comes back, comes in and runs an excellent run uh, at the run. So again, this is a person that's that's very dedicated to the sport of barrel racing. And everybody knows Wink. I didn't know Wink. I'm glad. My family's glad to know Wink. So, again, congratulations.